Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, yes, in the country we don't work, well we work all the time, but we work in different ways. Today, I'm going to cook uh, some chicken breasts, which I've put in a plastic bag, thawed them out of course, beat the heck out of them so they're all nice and flat. And uh, I'm just getting the Traeger all fired up. It takes about five minutes. It gets the burn pot going. And we're going to throw those yummy puppies on the grill. And that'll be our dinner tonight with corn in the cob. And uh, fresh cut tomatoes. Uh, which will come from my garden. <laughs> well, my two gardens. Uh, this guy and the little guy over there. So anyway... I'm going to cook up dinner and then we're going to get into some of the other things we're going to do on the property today. So these are my little chicken breasts, uh, which I just put in a plastic bag and put a cooking oil, not cooking, I do olive oil, and pound them down till they're both flat so they cook more evenly. Uh, just one for your, your cooking enjoyment. I use uh, salt and pepper, uh, garlic, and some mesquite seasoning on it, and that's it all you need super yummy you can uh, just cook them as or just eat them like that or you can put them on salads all kinds of things makes for great sandwiches <sighs> you can't go wrong these are uh, breasts that you can buy uh, in two packs from Costco and I love that way of doing it so let me get this cooked up for dinner and then we've got so much more to show you today okay. oh yes one more thing uh, since I use a Traeger, I like to smoke my chicken in the smoker setting for about 15 minutes to a half hour and then start cooking. Just give them some extra, extra smoky flavor. So uh, we'll close that down, let it sit for 15 minutes or so, crank up the temperature, and let's get dinner started. Alright guys, these are almost done. Those look yummy. So delicious and so many things you can do with it. But when I was out here, it's the evening. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually see the sky. We haven't seen the sky in uh, quite a while because of the smoke. So we had a little bit of rain today, and now uh, the wind must have changed directions. And now we can see the beautiful sky again. <laughs> it's like, oh, the apocalypse is over. Anyway, uh, yeah, beautiful evening. So we'll continue this video with more country living. So anyway, meantime, I got to cook dinner, finish dinner. And uh, you really should get a Traeger. <laughs> I really love my Traeger. All right, guys, let's move on. Well, it's the next day, guys. <laughs> oh, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And uh, today I got to start off with my Ghostbuster outfit. So today I've got to load this baby up and uh, kill some grass. And by the way, this is what we use. Uh, a weed and grass killer. Uh, super concentrated, it says. And it actually works good. We don't use a lot of chemicals on the property. I've mentioned that before, but we do for these garden beds uh, just because the weeds are so bad. So what we're going to do is fill this thing up, make it kind of strong. And Sherry's new garden bed, I'm going to spray the walkway in the garden beds. And then we're going to put pea gravel in and bark um, once I get this applied. And uh, kind of give our, like I said, these uh, gardens have been... Uh, not taken care of for so long they've got a lot of weeds in them that's the only way we can control it and uh, no we do not use any of that kind of stuff in our regular um, veg uh, vegetable gardens and stuff we like to stay organic but anyway uh, then we're gonna get those branches I showed you earlier and uh, yeah it's gonna be some tractor work today so Let's get to work. All right, guys, I got my Ghostbuster outfit on and I'm ready to do some spraying. This thing works really well. And once again, it does a great job on 
lawn and weeds and is really it's really nice to all the other plants so I'm gonna get that going right now Well, that worked okay, but it should be nice to see where I'm going. Okay, guys, this is getting a little ridiculous. I'm starting to think I need to buy a trailer. But, uh, you see our burn pile is getting kind of big here, but basically, uh, we're going to bring the wood chipper over here and hammer all that down, but we're just consolidating everything to one place. But, man, i got a lot of branches, and this is just half of it. There's a lot more coming. Okay, it's a little breezy outside, so sorry about the wind. But since I've been moving sticks, Sherry's been bringing in beauty bark. So that's looking real good. I see you got this part all done. Yeah. Oh, and over here too. So yeah, that looks a lot better. And uh, we still got tons of <laughs> branches I haven't gotten with the tractor because I don't want to run in on the grass. So we'll be doing this one manually over here. And sorry about the wind, it's picking up today. But, look at that, clear skies, no smoke. So, but we got wind today, sorry. Anyway, I gotta get back to uh, getting those out of there. Well, since we're doing all this work in the yard, decided to go ahead and give uh, our dogs brand new bones. And uh, they're gigantic, so look at this one. What you got, Cinder? Yum! That's a big old bone. That'll keep you busy. So, of course, Belle, our German Shepherd, got one too. A little bit smaller. Let's see what you got. Yum! That's a big bone, huh? That's gonna keep you busy. <laughs> you can hardly carry it. So those are two happy, happy dogs. Um, we actually took Cinder to the vet the other day. I may have mentioned this already. And uh, since she's moved here, and now we have the puppy, She's lost seven pounds, and that's fantastic. So she got a really good thumbs up from the vet. Says she's at her perfect weight, and I'm really happy to hear that because uh, Cinder's uh, definitely my old time bud. And uh, having a puppy around keeps her young. So much playing, so much running around. It's amazing. But in the meantime, I'm still looking at this pile. And it's just not going away. Well, we managed to get this all cleaned up. Uh, just a few little, little touches. Sherry's uh, project is all done almost with the, with the bark. That's looking good. We got a... <laughs> you already started digging. Um, we're getting ready to put some pea gravel in here, which we have some extra. Sorry about the wind. So we're just cutting this down a little bit away from the concrete so the pea gravel doesn't keep flowing onto the concrete and uh, so we'll put pea gravel from there and here all through here and it'll look beautiful when we're done and actually not that far to go but uh yeah it looks beautiful smells good because of the, bar the bark but uh we're gonna wrap it up here that was a plenty of things for today there's gonna be a big wood chipping day <laughs> in our near future in our near future and uh pea gravel the problem is that we can't use the tractor in here because it'll mark up the, the lawn too much so it's a little more manual so uh anyway guys thank you for watching don't forget to share and subscribe and 
find a long lost ant and share this video to them. I'm sure they'll love it. So anyway guys, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.